Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and share the link of the video with everybody you know. Um, we did not inform earlier that I will be on air, so most of you are cut into surprise. Uh, in the front of us, this is a graphic. It's not made by Christians. It's made by Muslims as it's posted in the Muslim website. A Muslim site called Islamic City. And the title of this article in front of us it says Jesus the return Which means the return of Jesus I saw a video Where a Muslim woman she asked one of those uh, uh, Funny uh, Who claimed that they have knowledge of Islam She asked him if Muhammad is the last prophet. So why Jesus would return that would not make Muhammad the last prophet and this guy he starts saying nothing because he cut into surprise with this question he did not know what to say he said well our brother tomorrow he is going to have a lecture i hope he will answer you however you need to remember that jesus is not coming as a prophet what <laughs> so jesus is not coming back as a prophet he's coming back as what he said he's coming back as a follower of muhammad <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know because they could not explain and they cannot explain and they have no idea how to explain why even Jesus need to return if Islam is the final message if Allah is the only God if Muhammad is the final prophet if the message is delivered who need Jesus anymore? The cult of Islam, because it's a copy-paste, it's an aftermarket project. It is something like you buy, you think it's made, uh, like you buy a Rolex, you think it's a Rolex, it's a, it have a name, Rolex, you know? You think it's a Rolex, but you find that it's made in China, in, you know, and it's not worth even, you know, even the, the metal in it. But if you like to fool people to say you are wearing Rolex, you can buy it. Jesus, the return. Please invite your friends and tell everybody that we are here. As you see, I did not post in advance that I will be on air. Actually, I'm doing it earlier because I have to leave soon. Why Jesus is going to return? The Muslims, they suffer badly trying to explain why Jesus is going to return and actually the return of Jesus in Islam raise more questions which is really amazing proving to us Islam to be a false stupid religion made by a false stupid prophet and here is the proof Jesus Isa alayhi salam peace upon him just as all other prophets is a chosen slave of Allah, whom Allah uh, assigned to summon the people to the truth path. However, there are some attributes to Jesus uh, distinguish him from other prophets. The most important one being that he was raised up by Allah and he will come back to earth again. <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> you know, I challenge any Muslim in the earth to tell me what is this drama is about. I mean, if Muhammad is the last prophet and the last message is delivered, and that's it, why you need Jesus to come back? I mean, look at this God. Even Allah himself cannot establish his plan without Jesus. This is what they are saying to us. Jesus is not done. Everybody, everybody else is done. Muhammad is done. Moses is done, Abraham is done, everybody, everybody. You know, even the funny names Muhammad he mentioned in his Quran, like Alexander the Great is a prophet in Islam and who is a homo and he is a bisexual. And uh, Al Khadr, who is supposedly a magician who drank from the water of the fountain of youth, all the funny names which Muhammad he add in his book as a prophet, all of them they are gone except one name. His name is Jesus and he is just a prophet. And Allah raised him up to heaven. And then he will come back. Okay, why? If you see the Muslim executes, you will see the most stupid answer ever. 
as an example in that video the guy he said Jesus will come back to kill the swine and to break the cross <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, I'm really old. Sometimes you cannot stop yourself from laughing. This God Allah have no problems in this earth to fight and to solve except killing a swine. I mean, isn't it, this is really a great sign of wisdom? God will send Jesus again to earth to do what I mean literally, literally literally to do what Jesus have an assassination mission he will kill this guy I mean obviously this guy he deserved to come back to him and Jesus he will come back and he will stand in the front of the swine and he will say hey you I am here coming to kill you. What say you? This one, he will say, what's wrong with you, Isa? You're acting like a Muslim today. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> you know, when I, when I laugh at Islam, people get upset, especially Muslims. Uh, but this is a stupid religion. I mean, God have a plan, and the plan is Jesus coming back to kill the pig. Why? I mean, what's the problem with this God and Mr. Pig? Anybody can explain to me? What's wrong with you, Muslims? I mean, there is a lot more harmful animals, and they are disgusting. At least, do you know that every surgery done in this earth is used? They are using the fabric from the skin of, of, of from from, uh, from the pig. Do you know that the most of people who they are surviving the diabetes, they, they are saved by Mr. Pig. Do you know that every Muslim woman she use makeup, she is putting in her lips a stick, pig? I mean, what's wrong with you? How many surgery a day is done around the world and all of it is using pig to tie up your cut? So when the Muslim speak about Jesus coming back, I have nothing to say except I laugh. If we go in the hadith, And we see the mission which supposedly assigned to Jesus. You cannot hold yourself from laughing. Let me show you. Here we go. And here, by the way, Muhammad, he made a false prophecy in case you do not notice. Muhammad, he was speaking in his time that soon, very soon, Jesus will descend among you. And this is a false prophecy. This is what said 1400 years ago. The soon never come. Huh? And actually in Arabic, it doesn't even say soon. In Arabic, it says you shake. It's almost. It's not soon. It's like here in the corner. Muhammad is swearing, making a false prophecy, saying, by him in whose hand is my life, the son of Mary, may peace. Um, this is the, not in the hadith. Will soon, actually, not soon again, Yushik almost descend among you as a just judge, and he will break the cross and kill the swine and abolish the jizya, and the wealth will be all over in this earth. Hold on, hold on. Who in the world can believe in such a garbage that God have a plan to send a person, his name is Jesus, and this Jesus or Isa is coming back to assassinate Mr. Pig and to break the cross. Why Jesus want to break the cross? What the problem? What cross? And if there's a specific cross, I mean, this is the most stupid statement ever. And by saying that Jesus is going to come as a just judge, you just admitted that Jesus must be God. Because nobody can be a just 
and judge save God my friend nobody is just in this earth people the judge they judge by their knowledge therefore they are far away from justice if you bring four witnesses now against a Muslim that he committed adultery and they witness that they saw his penis going in and out they will be they, they will kill him even if they are four lying where is the just when you say he will be a just and he will be the judge the judge for the whole earth you just announce him to be God you just announce that Jesus is the judge of the judgment day and he is going to be the absolute judge if we ask the Muslims why Allah will send back Jesus not Muhammad if Muhammad is a greater than Jesus what is a greater than this job for sure not the job of the silly of killing a, a pig which is a stupid the job of being the absolute judge the job of the one who will complete the plan of God. Who is going to complete the plan of God according to this? It's not Muhammad, it's not Moses, it's not Abraham. It is Jesus the Christ. So how dare you Muslims to follow Muhammad then? And how dare you to say in that video that Jesus is coming back as a follower of Muhammad. Do you Muslims follow Muhammad or follow God? By saying that he is a coming back as a follower of Muhammad, that means your God is Muhammad. You see, me as a Christian, I follow Jesus for he is my God. You Muslims follow Muhammad? But he's a prophet. How you can follow a man? And to make things more stupid, Muhammad, he said he will abolish the jizya. My friend, the jizya is already abolished. You stupid Abdul. No Christian is paying jizya. Your prophet is a false prophet. So supposedly when Jesus come back, he will abolish the jizya. But already nobody is paying jizya. Can you show me where Christians are paying jizya? Even the Christians in Saudi Arabia, they are not paying jizya. And when Muhammad, he said, almost Jesus is descending, he made the false prophecy. But there is something more. As I said, I cannot stay long today. I did not finish my roof, to be honest with you. <laughs> It's taking me along because I'm working along. If we go in the hadith, we find this. Muhammad, he have a character, his name al Masihu al-Dajjal. al Masihu al-Dajjal. Let me show you this. Muhammad is making prophecy about a person his name is at Dajjal. But who is at Dajjal? Any Muslim can tell me? At Dajjal is somebody he will play Jesus, fake Jesus. And this Dajjal is going to rule almost the whole earth. And all you see, all those stories about the Dajjal, Muhammad is scaring the hell of every Muslim from the guy who will claim to be the Messiah, who is supposedly a Dajjal.
in this hadith in the front of us there is a very funny story when you read it you will notice how Muhammad is far beyond the stupidity a Dajjal will come in in the morning and he will attack everybody and he will appear while Muhammad look at this is here something other than a Dajjal make worry about you if he appears while I am with you I will defend you against him but if he appears after I die then any one of you is his own defender what what kind of a prophet is saying that what does that mean I mean he's going to appear in your life Allah did not tell you Allah is the one who remain after me to guide every Muslim Allah is the one who remain after me Muhammad claim that in his time when he is exist Allah no need for him he is the one who guide every Muslim but after him Allah will take over the Jal will be a young man with very curly hair with one eye protruding with which he cannot see I compare his appearance to uh, to that of Al Uzza but Al Uzza uh, he's co comparing him to a guy Ibn Khattan you know <laughs> Who amongst you survived to see him should recite over him like when you see him you should recite the chapter of the uh, of the chair and this is one of the fictions of Muhammad supernatural you know uh, 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 theories and conspiracy he will appear in the way between Syria and Iraq and he will spread mischief in the earth and left right and left O slave of Allah remain adhered to the truth we asked the messenger of Allah how long he will stay on earth he said 40 days so 40 days the false Messiah will be in the earth 40 days one day will be like a year and one one day like a month and one day like a week and the rest of the days will be like your days like what does that mean <laughs> we said oh messenger of Allah will one day uh, uh, one day salat a prayer uh, uh, suffice uh, uh, for salat of that day which will be equal to one year look at the questions guys look at this this is a normal average city questions e e exist in the times of Muhammad you see Muslim today they ask questions like can I shave my vagina can I take a, a hair from my eyebrows this is the same question nothing changed uh, uh, prophet uh, so he one day is going to be equal to one year so how we will pray then <laughs> Thereupon he said, uh, but you must make the, an, an estimate of time. Like, I mean, look, Muhammad trying to find a solution now. Like, this, they took him in surprise. Okay, if one day is equal to one year, now how we can make it? Uh, make it an estimate of time and then offer salat. <laughs> oh, Messenger of Allah, how quickly he will walk in, upon the earth. Thereupon he said, like a cloud driven by the wind, <laughs> he will come to the people and call them to his obedience, and they will affirm their faith in him and respond to him. He then give, in, give the command to the sky, and it will send rain upon the earth. Like, hold on, hold on. He is a false man, yet he can command the sky. This guy supposedly is a scam. How he can command the sky to give rain? And the sky will obey. I thought the one in charge of the sky and the earth and the heaven is Allah. Suddenly we find that the one who is in charge he is a guy who pre pre pretend to be Jesus. And then he will say, and then he will send his command to the earth. And it will grow vegetation man this guy he command the ground and the ground obey and grow vegetation just, just by saying be what do you see what I'm, do you see guys what i'm reading this is madness how such a person can be a fake messiah then is he can control the earth and he can say to the ground to the desert say grow vegetation and the vegetation immediately grow he can command the sky and the sky he say hey sky rain and the sky rain immediately and then in the evening there's prostrating animals will come to them 
with their humps very high and there were uh, uh, doors full of, of, of milk and if their flanks stretched etc blah 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 okay then come another people invite them but they will reject him and he will leave them in barn lands without any goods and chattels he would then walk through the west over oh, the west uh, uh, land and say to it bring forth your treasure and the treasure will come out and follow him imagine guys gold silver diamond they will follow this guy he say he just say to the gold follow me gold come from the ground and follow him and follow him like swarm of bees he will then call upon per, uh, uh, a person uh, uh, brimming with youth and strike him with the sword and cut him into two pieces and make these pieces lie at distance with generally between the uh, the archer and the and his target and he will then call the young man he come back forward laughing this guy he will resurrect people from death he cut a man pieces and he put him in two places pieces and then he command the man who is dead and he is already slaughtered by him and the man he come walking and he is laughing and then with his face gleaming out of joy and it will be at this very time that Allah will send the Isa Jesus the son of Mary who will descend at the white minaret at the eastern side of Damascus but by the way this is a stupid this is cannot be true because this minaret was not built yet you idiot what minaret the minaret of in the east of Damascus is built after the occupation of the Muslims Christians don't build minaret they don't wherein too obviously this is hadith written long after Muhammad death it's a scam the same as the rest of them but Muslim they believe in it so what we can do so we have to go with it and maybe he said some and they added some in between wearing two garment lightly died and placing his hand on the wings of two angels jesus guys is going to be flying in the top of two wings of angels and when he lowered his head there will fall drops of water from his head and he will rise it up drops like pearls would scattered from him this is jesus my friend this is jesus jesus in islam is coming and he is going to be flying over the wings of angels angels are serving jesus under his command every disbeliever who will find his isa smell will die and his smell will reach as far as will be able to see <laughs> what 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 hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on muslims do you really believe in this garbage? Do you really believe from this garbage? What is that? Jesus will sweat a drop of a sweat from his head and the smell of this sweat will kill all the disbeliever in the earth any comment i mean this is the chemical weapon of jesus the muslim jesus for sure do you see how easy he will kill the infidels so why allah did not give muhammad the same power he smell he sweat and then he's I mean how bad the smell is to the point they die huh how bad the smell of the sweat of Isa the Muslim to the point people by millions and trillions will die from his smell they will die why Allah did not make Muhammad fart and all of us we die suddenly fart Muhammad fart Isa, he sweat, a little sweat, and all the disbelievers in this earth will die, even before he arrived to the ground. 
how in the world anyone can believe in such a garbage stupid religion and then Jesus after he killed all the infidels he will search for the Dajjal until he will catch him catch hold of him at the gate of Lud village near Jerusalem look at this man look at this Eden that the gel is hiding there I mean don't you know that Isa is coming go to Sri Lanka go to Australia go far away you know that Jesus is going to come back to Jerusalem why you go there are you stupid or what and then he will kill him <laughs> but look what Muhammad he just did guys anyone notice what Muhammad he just did who noticed here a mistake in this stupid story if any of you notice what is the mistake in this stupid so story tell me please right away I want to see who is of you is the person really who read fast and he think fast anyone notice with me what is the stupid story here what is the mistake of Muhammad he did in this story from this part to this part who want to tell me who want to tell me no no my friend the edict muhammad he just said that when jesus he sweat every disbeliever will die and that the jail is a disbeliever so what do you mean he will search for him and kill him i thought all of them are dead In front of you, they are giving you a kind of funny translation. They say, anyone he find his smell will die. What find his smell? All the disbelievers on the earth will die. The hadith in the front of me, in Arabic. Now, what we learn from this, that Jesus is the absolute judge. Jesus will come over the cloud carried by angels. This is Islamic teaching. Jesus is going to be the one who makes judgment with no mistake for he is God. And yet Muhammad, he claimed that Jesus is just a prophet. Jesus is going to come and kill the enemy of Allah because no Allah cannot kill him Muhammad cannot kill him only Jesus can accomplish that mission For all those who they are listening When you see a person Let us say we are watching a movie And everybody in the movie die as all American movies and then there's a guy his name is Jesus and Jesus in the middle of the movie he went up to the sky and he is watching from above Muhammad die I die you die your parents die my parents die there's generation after generation and Jesus is watching and things getting worse and getting worse and getting worse and getting worse and getting so ugly to the point that the jail is taking over the earth and then Jesus came to rescue that is Jesus in Islam so the one who will rescue mankind is Jesus you Muslims you stupid Muhammad you just admitted that Jesus is the Savior you reject all of you Muslims that Jesus saved no one when the fact your story saying that Jesus is the one who will save mankind if Jesus is the Savior and this is proven by your stupid story here who is Muhammad then and what is the duty of Muhammad he came to have sex with Aisha he came to teach us how to shake our penis what we learn from Muhammad to do jihad and kill people on airplane to kidnap some women and some children and we ask for ransom who need Muhammad when in Islam everybody need Jesus
Do you see it, Muslims? <clears throat> anyway, I advise you to read this story here. This hadith is kind of funny and stupid. If you want to laugh at Islam and the stupidity of Islam, I will post the link for you for those who are interested to read it all. My friend, Muhammad, even he made one more. I'm trying to make it short because I have to go back to work. He made one more mistake. Stupid mistake. Muhammad, he compared between the false messiah and the true messiah. Let me see. Yeah, later I will speak about Jesus being called by Muhammad Ruhullah, the Spirit of Allah. Nobody called such a name. But let me go here. <clears throat> Muhammad, he confirmed, Jesus is God by the following hadith. The Prophet said, I have told you so much about the Dajjal, the Antichrist. Hold on. Hold on, Muslims. You believe in Antichrist? Do you Muslims believe in Antichrist? Obviously, they do. Okay. But the Antichrist they have is different from what we have. No problem. But the second you agree that there is an Antichrist, you just admitted that Jesus must be God. Because why the Shaitan is decided to be antichrist not anti muhammad not anti allah not anti anyone why from the billions and the billions and the billions of a human being and the remember in islam there's more than a hundred twenty four twenty five thousand each hadith has a different story prophet sent by allah why from all those names and all the billions and trillions of people who die and they will die the shaitan choose to be the antichrist because jesus must be god you see satan he is against god not against a person like you and me, I mean, we are nothing for him. Satan, he's a challenging God, not me and you, and we are nothing. Satan, he wanted to be God. This is why Satan is anti-Christ. He is not anti-Allah, is not anti-Muhammad, is not anti-anyone. He is anti-Christ. So how shame on you, Muslims, to believe in the anti-Christ, yet you follow Muhammad. You believe that there is an antichrist. Did you ask yourself why he's antichrist? What about anti Muhammad? If Muhammad is the greatest prophet, if Muhammad is the last prophet, if Islam is a superior religion, and yet the Dajjal is an antichrist. And do you know what Christ means? I mean, Islam is so stupid at the point. If copy names, they do not know what they mean. What do you mean by Christ? The second you say Jesus, the second you say Christ, you just admitted that Jesus is God because this is what his name means. And then Muhammad, he continued exposing himself. He said, read carefully, the prophet SWS, this is a kind of Mercedes Benz made in Mecca. They cannot even say the name of their prophet without those letters of worship. Said, I have told you so much about the Dajjal, the Antichrist. I am afraid that you may not understand. The Antichrist, understand what? He started describing him now. The Antichrist is short, hinted, woolly-haired, one eyed and eye sightless and neither protruding nor deep seated. So if you are confused about him, him who the Antichrist, know that your Lord is not one eyed. Muhammad he just admitted that Allah is a man, and this man must be Jesus because he's afraid what? Afraid that the people they will worship the Antichrist, who is he claiming to be what? Claiming to be Christ. You see, guys, what people don't understand, 
that the Muslims, when they say a Dajjal, they are speaking about a character, a person. His name is Al Masihu Dajjal, which means the Messiah, the liar, or the Messiah, the fake one. It's not really Antichrist. This guy, he will claim to be the Messiah. And this is why Muhammad, he said that this person will order the vegetation to grow in the ground and will grow. He will order the sky to rain and they will rain. And he will order the treasure from the ground to come and run after him. The treasure will come and after because this is an act of God. So this guy is a devil who is coming in the shape trying to clothe, to clone Jesus. Which means Muhammad he admit that Jesus can, can order the vegetation to grow in the ground and they will do obey him. Jesus, he can order the rain to, to come down and the rain will come. He, Jesus can order the gold and silver and rubies and all diamonds and all the treasure in the ground to come out of the ground and they will follow him swarm in a swarm. Muhammad, he admitted here more that Allah have the same look of a man and that is he is fearing that the Muslims, they might not understand and they will be confused because Allah and Jesus look the same. What is Muhammad afraid of from? I am afraid. You might not understand. So Muhammad here is trying to explain to avoid what he's afraid of from, that they might under not understand. Understand what? Understand who is the Antichrist and who is the real God. But remember, the Antichrist is the Messiah the Dajjal who is claiming to be the false Messiah. So why the Muslim, they will think he is God if they knew already he is the false Messiah? Muhammad here proven to us that he is worried that they might think he is the true Messiah, which means he is the true God. So he tried to explain to them that they look different. Who? Allah? Look what he said here. He did not compare between the look of the Messiah and the look of the false Messiah. Muhammad here, he used the word that your Lord is not one eye. So what is the difference between Allah and, uh, and, and the false Messiah who exactly look like Jesus supposedly? The eye only. So Muhammad here, he confirmed that Allah and Jesus is one. For sure, I don't believe in this garbage. Allah is the devil. It does not exist anyway, but the devil is behind this religion. And Muhammad here, trying to build more confusion in the eyes of the Muslims and the mind of Muslims because he is a thief. He is fabricating stories to install fear in your heart, fictions. 99.99999 of Islam is based on fiction. Conspiracy. If shaitan, if you sleep in your stomach, shaitan will play with your anus. If you go in the bathroom, you don't enter with the right foot and you pray to Allah, certain prayer, shaitan will put his screwdriver and he will go inside your anus. If you sneeze, shaitan will laugh at you and he will piss on uh, if you if you yawn. Shaitan, he will piss in your mouth or he will sleep in your mouth. Shaitan, sleep in your nose. Shaitan, piss in your ears. All of Islam is based on fictions and conspiracy to fool the poor, naive Arab who have no education. But a little trip inside the script of Islam, the Quran and the Hadith, you will find that Muhammad is nothing but a scam. With here, I have to stop because I have to go back to work, guys. I really apologize. May the Lord bless you all. Please download the video, share it with your friends. And this is a Christian prince. I miss you all. And I hope soon we will start going to normal again. I am almost finished with my project, which I told you I am working in. May the Lord bless you. Christ is Lord. And Islam is false, made by a false man to the stupid man. I am not a stupid. Are you? If you are, good for you. Be happy as a Muslim and keep thinking about God who will give you extended penis to the point it's endless. And then you will receive a phone call from the Chinese government saying to you, your penis is blocking our roads in China while you are living in New York. People who believe in endless penis, they have endless stupidity. People who believe that God, he is a pimp who provide women for sex, they are horny nation, not using their brain. God who provide for us, little children 
according to Muslims explanation they are white and like pearls and they are very 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 pretty they will serve us for eternity that is sick and a child abuse Islam is nothing but a temptation of the devil for the sick minded one and I am not a sick minded man thank you Christ is Lord Islam is false and see you again bye bye